Hello everyone, welcome to Think Like a Coder. So in this video, I have invited Ujjwal. So in today's video, we will talk everything about Samsung, Samsung Bangalore. So hello Ujjwal, thank you, thank you for accepting my invitation. So could you please give me your quick introduction so that our viewers will get to know about you? Yeah, hello Amrit Anjali. So my name is Ujjwal. I am a final year undergraduate student of Mathematics and Computing Department, IIT Kharagpur. Uh, Last year, I did uh, internship at Samsung Research Institute, Bangalore, where I got a full-time opportunity as advanced, develop advanced developer, which is basically a research engineer profile. And apart from that, uh, I like to play badminton a, a lot. And yeah, that's it from my side. So that's great. So as our lots of viewers wanted to join Samsung, so could you please explain how is the interview experience of your Samsung? Like, could you, could you please explain your Samsung interview experience? So, yeah, yeah. So basically it was on campus uh, process. So uh, when Samsung visited our campus, they, they took an online test that, that consists of uh, three coding questions that were of medium, medium level, lead code medium level. And they, they were mainly focused on uh, tree or pointer based link list question and sliding window this this kind of medium medium you can say medium level techniques and uh, apart from that uh, after the code coding round around 20 to 25 people were shortlisted and basically on that year it was only uh, only open for uh, circuital branch people so uh, apart from that cs electrical ec and mnc sprint uh, none of the other students were allowed. Right now, they are accepting everyone from the on campus. So after that, uh, in, co in interview, there were two technical rounds and one HR round, I guess. So again, the technical round was uh, mainly focused on the same problems that, that were basically, uh, basically, basically focused on the tree algorithms and DP, these things. So yeah. So as I know that your internship got converted to full-time opportunity. So if someone is doing internship at Samsung, so could you please give some guidance of what they should follow to uh, like uh, after following that their internship get converted to the full-time opportunity? Actually, it is quite strange in Samsung Research Institute Bangalore that they after the internship, they take uh, online coding test, then same as the placement technical round, two technical round, one interview. Uh, two technical round interview, then HR round interview. And for the advanced developer profile, they take one more interview that was focused mainly on our subject that we had studied in our college. So I, I was more from a mathematics background. So they asked all the subjects related to mathematics for the advanced developer profile. But uh, during your internship type, you have to uh, side by side practice the coding question as well. So, so you can pass the coding test, the coding test was actually medium level again. And they were also focused uh, mainly on tree and DP and binary, binary, uh, binary tree or this thing, GST. These, these were the concepts that were asked. And the, again, the interview was of same level. And on, in this case, like for placement that for, for during the internship, they asked the coding question, but uh, do, for the full-time offer, they also asked the system design round and all the computer, uh, computer fundamentals, they, were asked during the interview. So basically they asked everything that uh, that were that was asked for the full-time employee during placement. Okay, that's great. So as I know that you also do competitive programming and you are very active at different, different platforms. So could you please explain that whether a professor should do only lead code or they also uh, try competitive programming and how competitive programming help you to clearing lots of uh, online rounds of different companies? Yeah, so basically for, if you specifically focus on one company like Samsung, then lead code will be fine. But for, uh, as we don't know that in which company we, we are going. So for that, like many, there are many companies who, who ask uh, during their coding question, they are basically on a hard level question. And last uh, last year, Uber, Uber asked code for 2300 rated questions. So basically, you should uh, you should do competitive programming side by side, but also focus on the lead code problem. As basically, they are the uh, they they cover the basics of the uh, basics and uh, rest. The competitive programming is more on mathematical based or tricky questions. So basically, you should learn both. Okay, so. 
Yeah, so as you know that like both competitive programming and lead code is equally important. But if you will do lead code, then uh, if you after doing lead code, if you will do competitive programming, then this is cherry on the cake. So that's why I'm saying mm -hmm. that please try to focus on both competitive programming and lead code if you have time. And if you don't have time, then you can only focus on lead code. Yeah, yeah, so lead code. And if you have a small, very small time, then you can uh, focus on interview with. During yeah. my internship, this is also... test, I I only did interview with so yeah. So I think I have covered all those points. So at the end, I want to ask, like I want to ask for giving a two advice. Uh, if you want to, if if I will ask you that, please give me two advice. If I am your junior, then what advice you will give? Actually, one is consistency. That in on the on my starting phase during competitive programming, that I like. So basically, when I started, I was uh, unable to solve a single question on code courses. Then I like after two months, then again I gave the uh, co coding uh, contest. Then, then again I wasn't able to solve the problem, uh, not a single one. Then again I left it for two three months. Then I got the. Then I learned that people how how they do competitive programming and ask ask the seniors that how they started. So basically, that will give motivation. And second one is like. Uh, be consistent and always always give the coding contest the and practice the problem within the time limit constraint that that will be the b plus before the coding round yeah this is really true so consistency is a key so uh, from today itself try to solve different question on different programming uh, website like uh, code force code forces and uh, of course lead code so before uh, for mm -hmm. this notes i want to uh, end this video so thank you thank you so much but before ending okay, this video i want to say that yeah. uh, this platform which brought to you by newton school newton school ek kafi achhi platform hai jo ki aapko software industry mein job lene mein help karti hai newton school ka ek february batch abhi start hone wali hai aapko description mein link mil jayegi us link pe click kar कि आप न्यूटन स्कूल का फेब्रुअरी बैच जरूर ज्वाइन करना एंड अगर आपको न्यूटन स्कूल के बारे में और कुछ पता करना है तो आप क्या कर सकते हो न्यूटन स्कूल के वेबसाइट पे विजिट कर सकते हो इसकी लिंक भी आपको डिस्क्रिप्शन में मिल जाएगी एंड मैं उज्जवल का लिंक इन आई डिस्क्रिप्शन में डाल दूंगी अगर आपको इन फ्यूचर कभी रेफरल या किसी भी चीज से रिलेटेड आपको गाइडेंस की जरूरत हो तो आप लाइक uh, उज्जवल like से डायरेक्ट कॉन्टेक्ट कर सकते हो सो दैट्स ऑल अबाउट दिस वीडियो थैंक यू सो मच